I'm Julie Rettner. I'm the San Joaquin Regional Director for River Partners, which is a nonprofit that does river restoration work throughout the Central Valley in California. I'm here to talk about the Lower Calaveras River grass planting project today. Uh, we're very excited to be partnering with Friends of the Lower Calaveras River, Defenders of Wildlife, University of the Pacific to uh, install a demonstration native grass planting project on the stretch of river of the Lower Calaveras River that runs through the University of Pacific campus here in Stockton. This is a stretch of the river that's had a lot of community um, interest uh, to uh, perform habitat restoration work and to encourage community involvement in river uh, conservation issues. So the grass planting project is kind of a, a first step in a larger initiative to do some coordinated habitat restoration on the Calaveras River that will improve the quality of the Lower Calaveras for wildlife habitat as well as for public engagement and community um, education and outreach. I'm really happy to be here today um, to give this award to Julie and the folks at River Partners. They do such amazing work in terms of uh, habitat restoration. Um, Pacific Gas and Electric and the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation have had this partnership for the past three years. PG&E gives us a million dollars to go through a competitive process. The grants are extremely competitive. We never have enough money. We have an advisory panel with experts from NOAA, Fish and Wildlife Service, US EPA, the, and the foundation and pg &E that sit on this panel. We meet for an entire day after we've read through all the proposals and rank them. And it's always really tough. But this year, River Partners actually got two awards for us from us because uh, the work they do is just so outstanding. And every way. So it's my pleasure to uh, to get this to them and um, go out and take a look at this beautiful work that they do. River, also known as Flocker, uh, we're a nonprofit group of uh, citizens that advocates for the sustainable management of the resources and conditions on the Lower Calaveras River. Uh, if you would like to know uh, more about us, um, if you would like to get a, 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 a list or uh, a, a list of our river walks for two, 2011, uh, you can uh, look us up on riverofsoles.wordpress.com. Uh, so today's walk uh, will be uh, Julie Render. Uh, she'll be talking of uh, flood risk ma management uh, and habitat. Thank you. Lisa, I just want to say before we leave the topic that these river walks are really a fantastic thing. I'm really impressed with the organization that's been going on for the last couple of years, getting people out. And when I see the list of what's upcoming for these first Saturday of the month river walks, I'm just really impressed. <laughs> Excellent job. Um, let's see, we have another guest here, um, Ashley from REI. Should we uh, address Ashley and what she's got going on? Are you here? Ashley, hi. Do you want to come up and take it? We're really excited to welcome REI to be here in the Riverwalk as well. Um, and so I'm going to ask Ashley to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, I'm from REI. I'm Ashley. I'm the outreach specialist here in Stockton. Um, and we are partnering with uh, the Friends of the Lower Calamares to help promote these river walks. We're running on our monthly calendars and also on our calendars online. I'm sure some of you might have seen it. And um, so what we're really trying to do is get people outside, get people with their families into nature and really recognize what's going on in our community. I think it's really important. And REI is really, really passionate about sharing that um, environmental concern with um, the community. And see, the idea of this is that it could be a first step, and then it's going to be an example, a sample of what can happen. And if it's successful and works, and we can get everybody on the walk on the same path to enlightenment, then maybe we can get funding to do additional uh, levy all up of down the four calendars. That's the goal. But you know, half of life starts with a single step, so there are 1,500 feet. I'm Wendy Maxwell, retired bureaucrat, current <laughs> jazz singer. Um, the reason I care about the river is because it's part of my community and it's part of the world that I live in. Uh, you know, the water brings life and health to all of us. It's a thing of beauty. 
Uh, it's a thing that you know man has messed with for decades and decades, and our rivers are endangered. Our rivers are, you know, on the verge of turning into canals with uh, riprap on the banks and cement on the bottom of them. And it's very important that we try to keep nature uh, involved with rivers. Bye -bye. I miss the way you are, oh my, how we spend our time.